Spectators now have a laser beam focus on the test. The crowd has become quiet in anticipation. T minus 30 seconds and counting. Motor is armed. T minus 20 seconds. We are at a hold. T minus 20 seconds. We're on a hold at T minus 20 seconds. Why don't we take a look at the way the Ares 1 development motor was manufactured. This is insulation for the nozzle, special phenolic return. This is the nozzle material that has to be able to take temperatures of on the order of 5,000 degrees. Now machining the nozzle to its finer configuration and installing o-ring material into the aft end of the nozzle. Very important to have a good seal on the rocket motor and the only place that any gas is supposed to get out is through the nozzle itself. Requesting closed circuit. completing the manufacturing of the nozzle. Great deal of adhesives used in the manufacturing. And the final O-ring being put in place by the highly trained operators, dressed up as they are to make sure none of their hair or skin get into the makeup of the rocket motor. This is to prevent any kind of contamination to be on any of the components. We're back now looking at the Ares 1 development motor number one. We're in a hold at T minus 20 seconds. And we should be getting some word from the central control momentarily. The flame that will come out from that rocket motor will go up and enforce a plume up over the top of that ridge, which is about a thousand feet above the rocket motor itself, the ridge being about 5,600 feet. Let's get another look of the motor buildup, looking at the development motor one overview. This is the rubber that's so critical to preventing the heat from getting from the propellant onto the rocket motor chamber. And there you are actually inside the chamber. That's inside the rocket motor chamber of one of the segments where technicians are laying up that rubber insulation. Rubber being a very good insulator that can tolerate that sort of heat. Placing the O-ring in the aft nozzle, which we saw on the previous clip, and then lowering the nozzle down into the aft segment. Again, so critical that all seals are kept. This is a piece of propellant core tooling. Notice the 12 fins and there's propellant dropping into the rocket motor. There the, the pinkish material is the cured rocket motor propellant, which has the consistency roughly of a hard rubber eraser. It's cast in and cured at a high temperature as a liquid with the consistency of approximately a peanut butter or a cookie dough and then it becomes a hard rubber. Now this is the extraction of the core tooling out of the aft segment and when we're done making the rocket motor it gets inspected. You see here x-ray film going down the inner bore of the rocket motor to be able to test for any defects. Actually x-ray every rocket motor